السلام عليكم السلام على رسول الله محمد وصلى الله عليه وسلم ماذا دار رسول الله ماذا دار سلف صلى الله عليه وسلم ماذا دار شهر دستو ولا شاء الله خاصة سلام شاء الله من هذا الحسن هذا فتنا الصحبة والخير في الجميع سخر لكم ما في البر بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم سخر لكم ما في الأرض والفرق تجري في البحر صدق الله العظيم الله made everything subjected to mankind to son of man subjected to the means that he created them to benefit from them. He made everything underwater, on earth, and in the air under our command so that we know his greatness and magnificence and give thanks to him. Make shukr to him. Everything is for mankind. Allah granted everything to mankind so that people know him. In old times, there were tools and instruments. People used to do work with their hands and own power, own strength. Later, they invented more things. Certainly, with the order and permission of Allah, everything has its time. As years passed, people lost their control and started using more of cars, planes, and ships. They benefited more from them. They got more comfort. However, in the meantime, they saw this and thought, they're great. They said, I am doing this, and forgot the Creator. When they forgot the Creator, these things became not benefit, but burden to them, to you. They became bad. Therefore, we should be grateful to Allah for everything He gives us. And everything can be used for goodness, for both goodness and evil, for good and evil. We should try to use the things given by Allah for goodness. We should use them for good, for good, not to harm people. We should use them not to forget Allah and our Holy Prophet, but to remember them. They will be of benefit to you then. Otherwise, even if you own the whole world and everything is under your command, if all machines and tools and devices are under your command, it will bring no benefit. You won't be using them, but they will be using you then. When you forget Allah Azza none of them has any benefit. If you just use one of them and know the greatness of Allah Azza you will have benefited from it and attained the pleasure of Allah. These things of this world, of dunya, are for this world and for akhirah, for the hereafter. They are used for both here and hereafter. Allah is capable of everything. People get amazed by how advanced things can be. That is nothing. That is not even a dot in front of the greatness of Allah Azza wa Jalla. All this science and knowledge are not even a dot. Therefore, don't be amazed by these tools and devices. Look and see the greatness of Allah Azza wa Jalla. May Allah give us all understanding. May He not deviate us from the right path and may He give strength to our Iman.